What's going on YouTube? Lynx Forte here. Uh, this is a spoiler video. If you do not want to see spoilers, please click off the video. That's why the screen is black right now so you don't see anything. Now, so here we here we have here what you see on the screen is some nerfs and buffs that happen for various Pokemon. Right at the top and red you see nerf. Gengar has been nerfed. <laughs> Gengar has been nerfed to hell and back. Why give this Pokemon cursed body? Levitate was a good ability for Gengar. It got rid of one of its weaknesses. Now you give it cursed body, a Pokemon that cannot take a physical hit. And it does nothing for Gengar now. Like, if they had given it Cursed Body as one of its first two abilities and given it a alternate hidden ability, fine. Maybe Levitate was its alternate hidden ability. I, I could have been behind that. I could have gotten behind that 150%. But no, you completely get rid of Levitate and give it Cursed Body. Why? That's, that's all I can ask is why. I, I get it. Gengar is a ghost Pokemon. Ghost Pokemon are known for curses. But, no! Gengar needs Levitate. Now we're back to Gen 1 and Gen 2 where Gengar dies to an earthquake. This was a good Pokemon. I... Anyway, that, that was my biggest rant of this entire video. I promise you that. <laughs> Okay, anyway, uh, let's look at the legendary dogs, uh, Raikou, Entei, Suicune. They've had their hidden abilities replaced with Inner Focus. I don't even remember these abilities were ever released. Their hidden abilities were ever released. But nonetheless, their hidden abilities have now been replaced with Inner Focus. Raikou was Volt Absorb, now it's Inner Focus. Entei had Flash Fire, now it's Inner Focus. Suicune, Word Absorb, now it's Inner Focus. I'm not saying like this doesn't make them worse Pokemon by in at all. This, this changes nothing for them. It's just I can only think that maybe they're planning on this is in case like in, if their hidden abilities are never released, maybe they're planning on releasing their hidden abilities at some point. That's the only thing I can think for this change. Like they did that with um the bird trio last gen. Like they changed their hidden abilities. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, their hidden abilities were released. Yeah, because I remember Static Zapdos became a thing. So yeah, their hidden abilities were released. So that's the only thing I can think with this gen is they're going to release the the hidden abilities for the Legendary Dogs this gen. And it still sucks because in a focus, okay, yeah, now my Pokemon can take a fake out and set up a move. Like if you're playing singles like I do. You know, Raikou is really the only Pokemon that... Maybe Suicune too, but... Raikou sometimes runs sub Calm Mind. Well, Raikou can now take this fake out... And get behind the sub and start setting up Calm Minds. That's really the only benefit I can see... To Raikou? As, maybe Suicune, because it can keep setting up Calm Minds. But Entei doesn't need... Entei doesn't need... Um, inner Focus. Like, Flash Fire was a great ability for Entei. And I, I, it is what it is, though. I mean, like I said, it wasn't being used before because they weren't released. But now that they're going to be released, it doesn't really change anything for them in my eyes. Next up, we have uh, Wingo and Pelipper. Wingo now gets Hydration and Pelipper gets Drizzle. And I'm pretty sure you guys are reading ahead, along ahead of me, or reading ahead of me. <laughs> So you see all these new abilities and stat changes or whatever. You probably already clicked off the video. I don't. I don't know. But Drizzle is is really good on a new Pokemon. We needed Drizzle on a new Pokemon. Not saying Wingle or Pelipper was that Pokemon. Like we just needed a new Pokemon to set up Rain though, because Politoed's a decent Pokemon, but it can only do so much for us like it it should have been another Pokemon I can't think of one in my head right now that should have gotten drizzle maybe Suicune should have gotten drizzle maybe Entei should have gotten drought Raikou maybe they could have found uh, something else for it. I don't know but we, we needed another rain setter and I, I just don't think Pelipper was that Pokemon though 
Next up is Torco. Uh, it gets drought, and I was talking with a, I was talking with a friend, and I don't know how I really feel about it. Like, we need another Pokemon with drought, like Charizard Y, um, and Nine Cells are really the only ones. I'm not counting. I'm not when it comes to Drizzle and Drought. I'm not counting Cairo and Groudon because. I don't use them because I don't play Ubers, but we needed another Pokemon. Charizard Y took up a Mega Slot, and then Nine Tails was just not a very viable Pokemon. So we need another Pokemon with Drought. Unfortunately, Torkoal is not that Pokemon in my opinion. But maybe you know if Smogon doesn't ban Weather in the lower tiers, maybe that's something that they can have. They have Pelipper again. Well, no, because they would still be using Nine Tails and. Uh, they will still be using nine cells in um, Politoed, so I, I don't know, man. It's it's gonna be weird this upcoming generation as far as weather wars, like if weather wars are coming back or if weather is gonna be a prominent thing. I don't know. Next we have Rock and Roll, Boldor, and Gigalith. The first two have uh, get weak armor, and Gigalith gets Sandstream. Again, it's weather. I'm happy that Gigalith is getting Sandstream because I, I don't mind having another Pokemon. It was just Tyranitar and its Mega and then Hippowdon uh, prior to this. So I think this is actually going to be a good thing. Like Gigalith is bulky and I don't know, maybe it, maybe run Focus Sash on it to replace Sturdy. That way you can get up rocks and then just switch out or maybe... I don't know Gigalith's stats off the top of my head. I'm sorry, you guys. But uh, maybe... I don't know, um, give it an assault vest so it can take hits. Let's let's look at Gigalith actually. Let's look up Gigalith. So I was looking at Swoobat. Um choo -choo -choo. Gigalith, let's check out your stats. So special defense is 80, it's not horrendous. Like what's hip out on? Man, I should have looked at all this before I started this video, but this this is actually kind of decent. I can show things. So sp okay, so this may be just as good of a a sand streamer as Hippodon. I mean, the only thing difference is its base HP is a lot lower. Like Hippodon is what one one oh eight. Gigalith is eighty five. So I mean, it, it can work. You get you. Put some spadef in it it can work it's slow as hell but it can work <laughs> that's my point i'm trying to get across it can work anyway uh next up vanillish and vanillux we now have another pokemon that gets snow warning or vanilla vanillish and vanilla sorry about that i missed um the first two get ice body or i'm sorry they get snow cloak and then vanillux gets snow warning vanillux I, i've used it before in random battles and it's actually sorry about that uh it's actually a decent pokemon um, it gets a Totemize, so that thing can clean up late game if it needs to. Uh, I don't know how it would be as a hat or a weather setter. That's one of the things you have to wait and see. Now for the last ability, the thing I have always asked, and I'm, pre I'm pretty sure people have wanted for a while. You have Swift Swim that boosts speed and rain. You have Sand Rush that boosts speed and uh, sand. So why has there never been an ability that boosts speed in in the um, hail? Oh my goodness, I can't think right now. Yeah, why has there never been an ability that boosts speed in hail? Like each one of those have their own. Like each one of each one of the weathers have something that you know is great for them. But hail is just hail. All it does is cause damage, and if a Pokemon has like um, Ice Body, it heals. But it's always been, in my opinion, a horrible weather. But now you have Slush Rush on Bear Tick and Cub Chew. Now they get double the speed. So, and going ahead, I mean, Bear Tick just got a buff in its attack. So, yeah, man. It's, Hail might be looking like a thing. I don't know. I just think with all of these new Pokemon that get weathers maybe Game Freak is trying to because they, they do it for VGC let's be honest 100% honest here. they do everything for VGC 
maybe they want to see weather in VGC. I don't know. That's the only reason I can think that they focus so much on these weather abilities. It's either that or they're just saying that Alola is a weird climate place. And so all of these Pokemon have um, these abilities. That's the only thing I can think of. It's either for VGC purposes where they want to see Weather Wars, or it's because Alola is a crazy climate place. Now you have all of these older Pokemon here on the right who got uh, increases in some stat. Uh, Arbok got increase in attack, the trio as well. Uh, Farfetch got a 25 point boost in its attack. The trio got a 10 point in speed, same as Electrode. Uh, Executor got a 10 point boost in its Bidef. Noctowl, special attack increase. Area Dose, Quillfish, Metcargo. Corsa Lamentine, Swallow. You see where I'm going with this. Uh, Swallow, I, I guess you now it can run, it can hit harder with a Boom Burst. <laughs> That's the only reason I could think for the special attack increase. Uh, Pelipper, I honestly I don't know why it's such a bad Pokemon. I mean, you give it 95 special attack, so what? Uh, it's not doing anything. Masquerade got a pretty decent buff. Um, 20 in special attack, 20 in speed. Delcaddy got a 20 plus in speed. Volbeat has a special place in my heart, so I'm happy it got <laughs> the buff, <laughs> even though it doesn't really do much. Like, it can sponge hit somewhat better now, but <laughs> it doesn't really do much. Same as Illumise, they got the same buff. Lunatone and Soul Rock got increases in HP. Chameco uh, got increases, and in it's all three of its defenses. Wubat, this is the weird one for me. Wubat gets an increase, but Swubat doesn't. From what I saw, Swubat didn't. Like, it's not posted here, so maybe, maybe it was just missing. I don't know. But yeah, Swo Woobat went from 55 HP to 65, and Swoobat has a 67. 67 base HP. That's why you guys, that's why my page was on Swoobat a minute ago. It has 67 base HP. So I don't understand why give it an increase, but not Swoobat. So, whatever. Not my problem. Uh, Crustle got a plus 10 in its attack. Baratic, like I said, it got a buff in its attack. It's from 110 to 130, so you have options. <laughs> I mean, Aqua Jet, does it get Ice Shard? I have no idea. Aqua Jet, Icicle Crash. Baratic has options now, people. <laughs> and then uh, Cryogonal got an increase in HP and defense. So I just wanted to go over that real quick. There's some interesting moves. I'm still like, what the hell with Gengar? Anyway, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. I have more videos coming. This is Link's Forte. I'm out. Peace.